Okay, today everyone, I will be showing you how to get the new app, Tracker app, um, better than installers, well, sort of, yes, yeah, the new type of installers, so let's get started. First, you want to go to your iPod Touch or iPhone, whatever you have, open up Cedia, go to Manage, Sources, Edit, Add. Now, you want to add this source, it's Sinful iPhone dot I mean no no dots sinful iPhone repo dot com okay I already have the source so I'm gonna cancel it the source will be in the description if you can't see okay um so once you have your sinful iPhone repo I'm just gonna go into it right there so first you wanna go all the way down to the eyes and get install this should look just like that. It might be blank with a question mark. It doesn't matter. Don't get the beta version. Get the real version. Okay. You're going to open it. Go to install. Confirm. Whatever happens. I already have it. So it's in there. Then, after that, you want to download AppSync. If your software is 3.0, you want to download 3.0. If your software is 3.12, that's the one you want to download. 3.12. Okay. Well, once you have done that, you want to go out of here. Okay, and I have it right there at the bottom. So you want to go to your installers. Okay. Um, To get it, you would do this. You're going to go to settings. Okay, and it has home euro at the top. Gonna go into home euro. You're gonna go to home euro. And in home euro, you're gonna type in, hold on, wait a second, http dot dot slash slash www dot causefx dot net slash i slash number score underscore home. Okay, and you're going to have this because if you don't, you're not going to have a front page. You're going to go to Browse, Sources, and um, it's going to have all these sources. It's going to say Cause Effects Apps, Recent Apps, App Tracker, Appulus, App Cake, App for iPhone, Zoa, Hacks for your iPhone, iGool, then these are the non-friendly ones and all. You're going to go to App Tracker. Okay. I'm going to have to let it load up real quick. App Tracker. Okay, and this screen should pop up. It should say, have all this stuff. Browse by newest apps. Browse by newest updates. Browse alphabetically. And then it should have information. So then, you can search whatever you want to get. I'm just going to show you guys how this works. Um, what game should I get? Let's see. Driver. Okay, search. Still searching. Still searching. You know, I just decided not to get driver. Um, let's see, what should I get? Uh what game is in the app store right now? Let's see. Grand Theft Auto. Type in Grand Theft Auto, search. Okay, it doesn't show me that right now, but uh, it doesn't matter really. Um, they have it if you would go back to the beginning. Well, go to Auto Adjust. I'll just try to get this app for you. Loading. And unloading, go to download.
and it should pop up if you go down. This one only has one. Most of the time, the best one you're looking for is appsteam.org. So you're gonna... Okay, I went to it. I downloaded it. Really, all you're going to say is going to tell you to download, and um, it's going to tell you to put in the capacho, those number of keys and stuff. Then you're going to go to download. You're going to see it loading and all that. Mine has finished loading already. Um, it is done loading. And once it downloads, you're going to let it install. So then you're going to go back. Then once you're back at your home screen, you're going to go over and should have it right in your front page. So thank you, everyone. Thank you for watching this video. Um, I really appreciate you guys um, watching this video, tuning in. This is a great app. It's better than installing.